Good morning, 4K friends. Happy Friday. Are you ready for morning meeting? All right, let's start with a greeting. So today you can choose to either get a wink or a thumb kiss. You make your choice now. Okay, if you chose a wink, here's your greeting. If you chose a thumb kiss, here's your greeting. I love it. Let's move into our song to connect right away. So now this one, here's our song, our song to unite. So today we are going to do my school family. So for this one, you are going to need um, an adult or a stuffed animal or a baby doll. I'm going to have my friend Penny join me today and she's going to be um, my dancing partner. All right, everybody stand up on your feet. Here we go. My school family. This is my school family. This is my school family. This is my school family. Now wave to a friend. Wave to a friend. Boom, boom, boom. This is my school family. This is my school family. This is my school family. Shake hands with a friend. Shake hands with a friend. Boom, boom, boom. Wave to a friend. Wave to a friend. Boom, boom, boom. This is my school family. This is my school family. Is my school family pinky hug with a friend? Pinky hug with a friend. Boom, boom, boom. Shake hands with a friend. Shake hands with a friend. Boom, boom, boom. High five with a friend. This is my school family. Thank you for uh, dancing with me. Okay, we are going to move into our breathing right away. So today, yesterday we did the zipper breath. Today we are going to do the Superman breath. Penny's gonna go over here. The Superman man breath you need to stand up for. So everybody stand up on your feet. Oops, my cat is here, I'm kicking my cat. Stand up on your feet for the Superman breath. You are going to take a breath in through your nose, and then when you let it out, you are going to fly like Superman. Here we go. Take a breath in through your nose. Let's practice just this one time. Okay, let's do three Superman breaths together. Ready? Breathe in through your nose. That was one. Number two. Number two, now number three. You got it. Thanks for Superman breathing with me. All right, let's move in our, into our activity to connect. So today we are going to do Here's the Bunny. This one we might not know as much, but we've practiced a few times. So remember you need an, an adult or a brother or sister or a stuffed animal or a baby doll or something that you can use. I'm gonna have Penny join me this time. So it goes like this. Here is the bunny with his ears so funny. Here is the hole in the ground. With the noise he hears, he picks up his ears and he jumps in the hole in the ground. So if you are doing this with a mom or a dad or a brother or a sister, you are going to be the bunny and they are going to be the hole and they'll use two hands and you'll hop into their hole. If you're doing it by yourself, then you are going to use your arm as a hole and then you're going to use um, your stuffed animal or your baby doll as a bunny. So you're gonna give it some bunny ears and kind of try to hold on to it. If you can't give it bunny ears, then just hold on to it. Here's the bunny. This isn't really a bunny. What kind of animal is Penny? You're right, a hedgehog. Okay, ready? Let's do it. Bunnies, are you ready? 
holes. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Here is the bunny with his ears so funny. Here is the hole in the ground. With the noise he hears, he picks up his ears and he jumps in the hole in the ground. Woohoo! That was fun. Thank you for joining me on that as well. Okay. Now we are going to go into our commitment. So it's my job to keep you safe. It's your job to keep it that way. You got it. So tell me something that is safe at home. What's something that you do that is safe? Oh, you, you go outside with an adult or you make sure that before you go outside, you ask an adult and let them know that you're going outside if that's your rules. Love that. What else is something that's safe in your home? Oh, definitely walking feet, just like in our classroom. Sometimes it's fun to run at home, but sometimes when we run, we can bump into somebody or get hurt. Your home is probably a lot different than at school, though. What's another thing that, that keeps you safe at school? Tell me now. Or er, safe at home. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Okay, let's check in from our commitment yesterday. So yesterday, we committed to using some kind and encouraging words. Did you, did you do it? Did you use some kind words? Like, please, thank you, I can do this? Or did you say, oops, I need to practice? Tell me about it now. Thank you. Okay, so let's talk about today's commitment. So today, do you remember how we read uh, that story about Schubert yesterday? And how at the very end of the story, Schubert and Sophie said that they wanted to share something that they are grateful for every day. Grateful for, that kind of means that you are thankful for it. Like you really, really like it. And you are happy to have it in your life. So today's commitment is, today I commit to tell an adult one thing we are grateful for or i am grateful for so you're going to commit to telling you're going to promise that you're going to tell an adult your mom your dad your grandma your grandpa your aunt your uncle whoever you're with one thing that you are happy to have in your life that you are grateful for so i'll tell you something that i'm grateful for you know what i'm grateful for i'm grateful for computers and cell phones and technology so that i can stay in touch with you so that i can talk to you every day and post videos for you every day i am grateful for that if you would like to tell me something you're grateful for tell me now i love it so before i wish you well i have a math game that we are going to play quick so i'm just going to make myself a little bit bigger there we go. Okay, are you ready to play a math game with me? Okay, so this is a math pizza game. So I found some stuff at my house. Um, I used a plate like this, a paper plate, and I drew with a black marker on it. I drew an X. I went shh, shh, and inside all of those pieces, I wrote, what are those called? Numbers. Yes, I wrote some numbers in there. And then I took another plate and I cut it into the same amount of pieces. Do you see this? So this was my plate. And then I cut it into pieces and I matched those numbers. So for every number, I drew um, the same number of pepperonis on my pizza. So if you don't like pepperonis, maybe if you do this at home, you can draw whatever you like. If you like cheese, then draw pieces of cheese. If you like sausage, then draw some, some sausages on your pizza. But I, we're gonna work together to match these to the number on our plate. So looking at this piece of pizza, can you tell me how many pepperonis are on this pizza? On this slice? Two, you got it. Now, did you have to count them? Or did you just look at it and think, oh, that is the number two. Both ways are great. Or did you go one, two? I love it. Okay, can you help me find the two? Is it here? No. Is it here? Nope. Is it here? No. Is this the two? Yes. Two is this number. So we're going to match up that piece of pizza with the number two and cover it up. Okay, next one. 
let's count how many piece, how many pepperonis are on this slice of pizza. Can you tell me how many pepperonis are on this slice of pizza? You've got it, there are six. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pepperonis. Now, can you help me find the six? Is this a six? No. Is this a six? Yes, this is the number six. So we are going to match up our six pepperonis with the six on our plate. And mine doesn't match up exactly because I didn't cut them very evenly, but that's okay. Okay, next one. Let's count how many pepperonis are on this piece of pizza. Here we go, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many pepperonis are on this piece of pizza? <gasps> ten. Okay, you need to help me find the number ten. Is this the number ten? It sure is. One and zero makes ten. So we're going to match this piece of pizza up with um, the number 10. So there is one more number left on our piece of pizza. Do you know what number this is? Yes, it's the number eight. So that must mean that there should be eight pieces of pepperoni or eight pepperonis on this last piece of pizza. Should we count and find out? Let's count together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Were there eight piece pepperonis on this piece of pizza? There were, so we will match it up with our number eight. Awesome, here's our pizza. Does it look like a pepperoni pizza that you would like to eat? Maybe, I don't know if I'd eat a plate pizza, but it was fun. So if you would like um, directions on how to make that activity at home, or if you think you can do it without directions just by um, watching the video, then um, have your mom or dad take a picture and send it to me so I can see your pepperoni, pepperoni pizza counting. Awesome. Let's put each other in our hearts and wish each other well. So here we go. I'm putting all of you in my hearts and your families. Ready? Take a deep breath. We wish you well. We wish you well. We wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well. I wish you well, boys and girls, and I will talk to you again on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye, everybody.